click on red snow and we're going to open it up right here and this is where we're going to have a couple of different options um, we're just going to click on jailbreak here and now it says please make sure that your iDevice is turned off and plugged in so mine is plugged in as you guys can tell right here I'm unjailbroken and we are going to fully power it off right here there we go and then what we're going to do once it is fully powered off is put it into DFU mode and to do that you hold the power button for three seconds and then you keep the holding the power button hold the home button for 10 more seconds release the power button and hold the home button for 30 seconds so we'll do that right here and right when I click on next I'm going to start holding the power button so next one two three now I'm holding the power and home button for about 10 seconds and then I'm going to release the power button right now and now I'm just holding the home button until it goes into DFU mode and um, then it will do its thing and jailbreak your iDevice so as you guys can tell here I can let go because it's actually exploiting Lime Rain and it's starting to jailbreak the iDevice right here so this part does take some time guys and I'm going to cut you here and move on. So this now popped up. It has a couple of different options. We can uh, install Cydia, install custom bundles, enable battery percentage, and uh, enable multitask gestures. I'm just going to install Cydia, enable battery percentage, and I'm going to click next. And now it's going to keep on jailbreaking here. And you guys should get this right here saying download jailbreak data. So now this will take some time as well, guys, so I'll pause you here. Now about halfway through here, guys, you guys should get a screen that looks something similar to this. Um, this is completely normal. Now this is also a completely normal screen to have up on your iDevice, and this is if this is happening, this is perfect, and your iPod or iPhone is being jailbroken. So now, as you guys can tell, I have unlocked my iPod here and um, we have Cydia installed but you guys will notice that it is not working so what we're going to want to do is come back to the computer and put our iDevice back in DFU mode so we're going to close down Red Snow here open it up again and here we're actually just going to click on extras and then we're going to click on just boot and um, this will actually reboot the iDevice and you will have to reboot your iDevice every single time you fully turn it off unless you do the semi untethered jailbreak which there will be a link to that video in the video description down below and I definitely recommend you guys definitely go do that great video um, I made it and you guys can learn how to get the semi untethered jailbreak so here we are guys we're gonna fully turn off our iDevice and then we're gonna click next and we're gonna do the same thing we did last time to put it in DFU mode with the power button and home button and uh, let's get right on into that right here so click next holding the power button holding the power and home button for about 10 more seconds and then we will be releasing the power button and holding the home button for 15 seconds so guys what a tethered jailbreak is is basically every time you fully turn off your iDevice you will have to do this right here exact same step I just did you will open up red snow click on boot and um, then you'll be able to uh, reboot your iDevice and everything will load up properly so this is gonna take a few minutes right here as you guys can tell we got the pwned pineapple sign and uh, it'll just boot up like this and now here we are guys with our finally jailbroken iDevice. Cydia is up and running. I'm going to set it up as a user right there. Click on done. And there we go. Cydia is loading up just great. So thank you for watching this video guys. Hopefully this was helpful for you. This was iPod Touch Helping. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.